Hey Vera City, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vera Moore, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to Jamaican rental business owner claims she is fed up with ghetto and entitled black Americans. Wow, this is really, really deep. I can't wait to get into the video. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you are new here, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. We've had two different artists on here. We have two different songs from all over the world. If it's something that you love, one of them, Vera City. Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell, so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And with that, guys, let's get started. I don't want any ghetto black Americans here. No get up entitled, spoiled black Americans that America has spoiled. I don't want them here. We'll not change that, okay? And I'm not going to change the verbiage. I'm saying exactly what I feel. I was a landlord in America for 10 years. Let me tell you, I have, to have tenants that their rent was $12 because Section 8 paid the rest of it for them. You're like, I don't get any free shit. What are you free shit you're talking about? I don't get any free shit. You got a lot of free shit. Those are the people I don't want here. $12 the rent, you'll pay. You have Benz, you drive, you wear a $400 wig, name brand shoes, your kids wear name brand shoes, and you will not, you work minimum hours so you don't lose your section aid. You got food stamps, you buy lobster, steak, and God knows what everything is. And people that work in three jobs can't afford the food, they could buy us on government assistance. I don't want you ass here because I work very hard for everything I have. So I don't want. No entitled, spoiled, and grateful black Americans here. If you work, respectful, I'm even open to offer short-term stay for the right people. One thing I learned about the ghetto people too, they have a way of hiding who they are. Because hmm. they've been cheating the system so long that they pretend to be something else to get money off the government. And so that's what you do. You call me, you pretend to be somebody else. And when you come here, you show your real true colors. There's none of that here. If you come and you get up, you got to leave. Period. I don't care about your money. Yeah, that's all I got to say today. Every time I hear a non-American black talk about black folks, every thing come out they mouth is some European racist shit. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about this TikTok that is going viral. That is pissing off a whole lot of people because this Jamaican woman who's a business owner, she owns a rental company, shocked social media by saying that she is fed up with black American guests. Okay, she's fed wow. up with black Americans specifically here. Okay, we're, we're being very specific for a reason because it's not really a skin color thing. Um, she said, look. I don't want black Americans staying at my rental anymore because basically uh, they are entitled, unappreciative, and generally disrespectful in her presence, okay? She claims that she has not had a good experience uh, with her rental property, with her business when it comes to dealing with black Americans. And I, I wanna talk about that and I wanna play the video, but first I have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Guys, we just experienced another major banking collapse despite wow. assurances from the Biden administration and the federal government that, hey, everything is under control. But, you know, we do have a major bank that hopefully won't collapse. Bank of America that is predicting that gold will go to $2,200 this year year an all-time high invest in a gold ira today with noble gold investments and take advantage of this rare opportunity to secure your retirement savings with the experts at noble gold investments you can ride the wave of gold's historic rise to financial security and this month they're offering a solid silver five ounce america the beautiful coin with every qualifying Precious Metals IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Wow. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com to secure your wealth today. Mm -hmm. And bag a free 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin if you qualify. Again, that is noblegoldinvestments.com. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. Calm. And just remember, there's always a risk with investments. People, African people stay here. Have Jamaican people stay here. Have white people stay here. Have Spanish people stay here. And have Black Americans stay here. I'm not saying not all Black Americans are bad, but the ones that came to my place 
have been nothing but problem. Oh. Only two good ones came here of all of them. Fight late at night, not with me, with each other. The disrespectful, the entitled, the un unappreciative. And it is that way because America has spoiled them and give them so much free shit. Where they think they could come to Jamaica and get the free, same free shit out here and be nasty about it. I'm oh. not saying all of you are like that. But because of that, I'm not risking my health and my happiness for people. No short-term stay. No short-term stay. It's not going to happen here. I'd rather eat salt and banana and let goats and cows live into my houses than have you come here stress me. I will not hate my business because of customers. A lot of business people are miserable because of some kind of customer. Mm -hmm. Not this place. I don't want my place. is drama-free. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know that set off some people, okay? People were upset about that, okay? Mm -hmm. This is... The exact type of red meat that you need for the ongoing war, right? Civil war between the so-called foundational black Americans and the so-called tethers, a.k.a. Uh, people who were not descendants of slaves or are, you know, descendants of immigrants who came to America after slavery. They're beefing with each other, right? And uh, again, of course, you know that a lot of people, right, black Americans... Uh, had an issue with uh, these comments. Take a look. All black Americans are bad, but the ones that came to my place have been not. Specifically, very specifically, in detail, what did they do? Because you're not just about to come make a vague video saying every black American that came was just a bad tenant, but you don't got no specifics. So what did they do, ma'am? What did they do? That's That's all I want to know. You're saying they was arguing not with you, but with themselves. Hmm. That sounds like they were just drinking and doing something like playing spades or something. Look, that, that sounds like that's all that they was just partying. You didn't say they did had any property damage. So what what are, what are they doing? They, they go when they turn up. And they, they make a little mess, but that's expected because you're a renter. So you, you should expect to clean up a little bit of like what specifically happened that made you. I'm going to sum this up real quick because me personally, the video was pretty unnecessary. Or if she wanted to talk about her experience, she should have talked about everybody in totality. She should have used black people as a way to convey her message of negativity and how she wanted to weed people out that did for them not to come to her establishment. And what do we get for free? I'm, just, I'm trying to figure that out. There are a lot of entitled people, no matter what color they are. But that's, that's my problem. True. I have no problem with her saying, you know, she had bad encounters. But the generalization is my f problem. Everything she said out of her mouth after her sh she tried to f go back on shit was that black Americans get free shit. That's some white shit she just f said. That's some racist ass white shit. First and foremost, every time I hear a non-American black talk about black folks everything come out they mouth is some european racist shit i don't give a where they come from they all repeating the same talking points you hear on fox news mark levin or any racist white man you can think of it's coming out their black ass mouth that's my problem i'm not saying we over here without issues but stop acting like you don't have the same problems with a you at or your mother culture that's my problem but to generalize a whole group of people when you got blacks over here doing it the up over here graduating with multiple degrees starting successful businesses but you want to point out a certain segment or group a few people that came over to your shit and act like assholes then you want to paint a broad brush oh my god white folks and other folks Go go places and don't show they asses. They just perfect wherever they go. That's my problem. I have no problem with her having an issue with people coming over and not being appreciative of her business. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. And um the lady also made comments about how <laughs> white people are not oppressing black people and how the white man is not the problem. And uh apparently the some of the you know white liberals had an issue with, with that as well. Take a look. Jealousy, that's what holding a black race back, not the white man. The white man is not holding you back. I had already stitched one of her other videos that I stuck in my draft. I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to really get into this. But then I saw someone else stitching this 
fucking garbage shit. And now I really have to speak because she's trying to say, oh, the white man doesn't hold back black people in America, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Do I have shit to tell you? Hi, fucking white person here, white American here, who I've also spent seven years living out of the country. So it's not like I have no idea what other countries are like in contrast to America. I've seen how white people act inside this country and outside of this country. I've seen how Americans act inside this country and outside this country. I've seen how non-American, non-white American, wait, non-American whites, I've seen how they act in and outside of this country. Non-white Americans. Let me tell you what. There is a very, very strong commonality between whites around the fucking world, and that is the hatred of people who do not share their white skin tone. Mm -hmm. That doesn't just mean black people, but that means that black people are the most hated because they are the least white. If you genuinely think the white man isn't holding black people back in America, or really any country for that matter, then you don't think that racism still exists because... But that's why they're being held back. <laughs> absolutely hilarious, okay? Absolutely hilarious. This whole story, this whole situation is so hilarious to me. Now, how do I feel about this, okay? The way I feel about it is like this. I believe in the First Amendment. Uh, this woman is in Jana Jamaica, but apparently she used to live in America at some point. But uh, she has the right to say what she wants to say about people that patronize her business. Now, uh, do I personally think it's something that I would have said out loud as a business owner? Not really, but if her experience has been that bad, where she's like, I don't care about your money, okay, um, I just don't want you people, right, to uh, patronize my business because it's too many problems and too many issues, I think people need to actually take a step back and to think about why in the world would she feel so compelled to come out and say something like that if it wasn't grounded in at least some truth or reality, right? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. Uh, I'm not saying that I necessarily agree with her. All I'm saying is that I understand why she came out and said what she said. She must truly feel like the experiences that she had with people who happen to be black Americans who come to stay at her property or whatever was so bad that she's like, I don't want y'all business, right? I don't want y'all business. And a business owner who comes out and says, hey, I don't want certain people to uh, patronize my business. I, I, I feel like they have the right to do that. Okay. And the people who potentially thought or are thinking about staying at her business can make a decision based off what she said and choose not to go stay at her property. And she'll go out of business. Right. If, if black business is that important to her, if she needs it that much. She will go out of business, okay, for not yeah. allowing black people to stay there. That's capitalism, okay? Now, again, I don't agree with her necessarily, you know, making generalizations out people based off, you know, where they're from or whatever. But, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's her business. I mean, what can I say? It's not even for me to really judge, mm -hmm. right, or to tell her what she can and can't do with her business, right? It's, it's her business. Yeah. It's really that simple. Right, there's no reason to be upset, right? Because these same people who are probably upset are like, oh no, we need to shop at black only businesses, right? We don't need to go to the white man store, we need to buy black owned, okay? They're pro black, okay? Um, but when somebody says, hey, you know what, I, I don't want you to patronize my business, uh, because you're black and American, they, they want to get mad and upset, right? I'm, j I'm just saying, um, I personally, again, it's not something I would have came out and said, um, but hey, if this woman feels that strongly about it, it is what it is. I'm not offended. Right? I really don't personally care, even if she wouldn't allow me to stay there. I would just find somewhere else to stay, give somebody else my money and keep it moving. OK, but I'm just saying a lot of people, instead of getting so butthurt about it, probably should take a step back and think about why she's saying what she's saying. OK, because we know that. It's totally fine to put out these type of videos about whites, right? If you put out a video and say, hey, I don't want to deal with whites anymore because white people are X, Y, and Z, right? Because white women are Karens or whatever, right? You'd be applauded. These same people be applauded and say, you're right. I had terrible experiences with whites and Karens, right? White people this, white people that, right? This is what they would say. It's totally fine to stereotype and to generalize uh, if you're doing it to whites, right? But as soon as you do it to blacks, 
people want to get mad and upset about it. They want to get they want to get all butt hurt. Okay, but again, I'm just saying, man, if you're upset and mad about what this lady's saying, then just don't stay at her property. It's really that simple. Both parties are happy. Okay, that's capitalism, right? That is capitalism. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace. Well, first of all, this Jamaican lady, she's also black. So when she's saying she's fed up with ghetto and entitled black Americans, and someone said it's racist. Now, I, I'm confused because she's black. This people she said she's fed up with, they're also black. Do blacks eat blacks? Because at this point, it is getting confusing. Do blacks eat blacks? What is the deal? Like, what exactly is the is that deal? What's that issue? According to what the guy said, he said she might actually be tired of the blacks. But then, but then, did she really need to come up on social media to talk about all of this? Because it seems pretty like she's a racist. But then, she's also black-skinned. So why, 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 why all of this? At this point, it's just, it's just crazy. And even, I love what, I love what the other guy said. It was like, what exactly did they do? Can you just pinpoint, tell us exactly the damage, did they damage your house? She didn't state any of that in her video. So it's just crazy what do you guys think about this video drop a comment down below i would really love to hear your thoughts i totally enjoyed this if you enjoyed this video as much as i did give it a huge thomb thumbs up and please share this video and if you're new here join vera city hit the subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops and that's guys see you in the next one bye